Like, yay, this is all I ever want to do forever. Mm -hmm. Hey Namaste fam, Wolfgore here and thank you for taking the time to click on the video. So today we're going to be talking about being a YouTuber or any kind of content creator really and how to avoid the pitfalls that come with the territory. Well, first things first, we need to establish what I mean by pitfalls. Now there are a lot of different pitfalls that you can fall into when you're a content creator or a Twitch streamer or what have you, a YouTuber, but I kind of want to focus on one specific pitfall that I see a lot of content creators fall into and that is sort of chasing the numbers and getting stuck associated with a particular game, a particular style of making videos, essentially whatever it is that your audience expects of you to see and they feel like they can't get out of it. Like my favorite YouTuber, I've talked about him many times on this channel, MF Pally Time, he got into Heroes of the Storm. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that game. It's a MOBA style Blizzard game and uh, he because he got in during the alpha, he uh, rose to the top. He's the biggest Heroes of the Storm streamer out there. And how do you leave something like that? Like, I can't speak for him, but, you know, he's been streaming that game for like three or four years now and making content just focused on that game. And I feel like he actually just released a video saying that he kind of, he implied that he wants to get into other things. But it's very, very difficult when the majority of your audience is expecting a particular style of content from you or a particular game. Now, this doesn't just happen to uh, gaming channels. For example, Casey Neistat, one of the biggest creators on the platform, he's been making YouTube videos forever. So he makes short videos, sort of short little film videos, and he also had like a daily vlog that he was doing for a long time, and he became very successful from that. But when he transitioned from one to the other, his audience was just like not okay with it. They were like, you can't, you can't make a daily vlog, you make short videos. And when he transitioned, they're like, you can't make short videos, you're a daily vlogger. And it's like, well, yes, yes, he can. It's his channel. But of course, I'm not just here to talk about MF Pally Time or Casey Neistat. I am actually here to relate this to my channel. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. So this is something that I've kind of known I would have to deal with at some point during my YouTube career, uh, but I'm definitely facing that issue right now. And the reason being is that probably the majority of my subscribers subscribed to my channel during a Bloodborne live stream. And the thing is, I don't wanna play Bloodborne forever. I like Bloodborne. The only reason I'm still playing Bloodborne is because I promised 100 playthroughs live and I, a man of my word, I'm following through with that. But once I'm done with my 100 playthroughs and we just finished 91 yesterday, so we're almost done. We got nine more playthroughs. If we do those on Friday nights, which we've been doing, that's nine more weeks. Nine more weeks, a little over two months. That's not a lot of Bloodborne left. And I understand how scary change can be when it comes to expecting regular content from a content creator. You wanna see Bloodborne live streams, but I can't live stream Bloodborne forever. I just can't, boo, I can't, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, I don't, I don't wanna keep streaming Bloodborne after this, you know? I love the game, I'll always love the game, but I can't do it forever, and I hope you can understand that. Now, this isn't the first time I've put this information out there. I've been trying to subtly, somewhat subtly, uh, make it known that, you know, we are ending the era of Bloodborne at a hundred playthroughs. I've tried to end it in the past, but I ended up, I decided I wanted to go to a hundred playthroughs just because uh, back in like 2017, I think it was, I kind of promised myself that I would really own the fuck out of this game. And I think I've done that quite well. I've lived up to my word. I can do a speed run in 30 minutes, which is almost like world record and a hundred playthroughs live streamed and a full let's play 40 episodes like i have i have done this game justice now the feedback i've been getting for you know what i've been saying about this all along is you know oh well then just play some other soulsborne games and come back your channel is based on soulsborne games and bloodborne and it's like no it's not i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry that you think that it is but it's not from my perspective. My channel is just based on me making entertainment for you guys. And I don't want to get trapped in the pitfall that is Soulsborne Games. 
I know of one too many YouTubers who feel trapped in the Soulsborne genre and they just feel like they can't leave because that's what their community expects of them. That's why they subscribed. But I'm not going to be one of those guys. That has never, ever been my goal as a YouTuber to just sit in the Soulsborne Estes Soup pond and just splash there like, yay, this is all I ever want to do forever. Like, no, fuck that. That's not what I want to do. The only reason I played Bloodborne so much is because it's a game that I'm extremely comfortable with, so it's easy to connect with chat while I'm playing, and that's, you know, the whole reason I live stream is just to connect with you guys. I don't want to be a live streamer. I want to be a YouTuber, and it's on my PS4, and when I first started out on YouTube, I didn't know how to do stuff on my PC yet because it's a lot more complicated than, you know, the sort of pre-built setups that they have on the consoles. So, you know, it was there, it was on my console, it was easy to learn how to live stream it, all this stuff, but this has just been the warm-up act for me. This is not what I want to do forever, and I don't want anybody to think that it is something that I'm going to be doing forever, because that is not the case. I don't want you guys to be disappointed or feel let down or hurt or betrayed, but I am moving on to other things. I am moving on to bigger and better projects, to new games, and in fact, I want to get away from AAA titles almost completely. You know, I just feel AAA titles aren't what's best for me or for the channel. There's just too much investment with AAA titles. I mean, first of all, they cost $60 and I am not getting that return back. So if I wanna get my money's worth, I have to do a full let's play and live stream the fuck out of it and do all this stuff to invest in this thing that I spent $60 on and I just don't wanna do that. What I'm more looking to do is individual episodes, you know, on a daily basis that are their own standalone thing. Even if they are part of like a, let's say a 10 part series like the Doki Doki Let's Play, I want each episode to have its own unique feel to it, its own unique editing. And I don't even want to record back to back episodes. So like what I was doing with Doki Doki is, you know, I would typically sit down and I would record two episodes back to back. I don't want to do that anymore. I always just want to record one episode of one thing. I want it to be a complete thought. I want it to be uh, something that stands on its own two feet, not being supported by the rest of the series. I want it to have its own custom unique thumbnail, its own custom unique editing. And it could be anything, you know, anything at all. It could be, you know, .io games. I've started posting those. They're just little tiny games that you play on your browser, but you can have fun with one for an hour. So why not have fun with it for an hour, record a video, and then make a unique project out of it. I think that's so much more interesting than just playing the same game over and over and over and over again. And obviously that's not limited to just IO games. That's just one example. You know, I wanna, I wanna play indie games. I wanna play free games, unique games that people haven't heard of. Things that are just wild and crazy and, and unique and fun. And they bring variety. I wanna be a variety content creator, not a genre content creator. Does that make sense? And then of course, there's just the random videos, just random stuff that pops into my head, like the shack like the 60 minute loop of Shaq and Cat, or, you know, taking the Harry Potter quiz, or, you know, the bro videos. Those are all just like ideas that, that popped into my head that, I, you know, I didn't know how I was gonna create it, but I just, I got this idea and I was like, fuck it, I got time, I'm just gonna make a video. And I did, and I think they turned out great. And that's what I want. I just wanna be able to express myself creatively without having any, you know, expectations or walls put up around me by the community or by myself. So in an attempt to avoid the pitfalls of getting trapped in the Soulsborne genre, I am trying to start putting this information out there now, rather than two months from now, when we're gonna be finishing up the Bloodborne genre, the Bloodborne era on this channel, um, to give you guys a little bit more, because I know a lot of you really want that Soulsborne content, we are still gonna be doing a Dark Souls Remastered live stream on YouTube. I almost finished the game over on Twitch, but then that whole Twitch YouTube thing happened. So, um, you know, I'm back on YouTube full time and I wanna do a start to finish uh, live stream of Dark Souls Remastered. So that's probably, most likely, what we're gonna be following up Bloodborne with. I might be doing it sometime during the next two months or I might be doing it following Bloodborne. Either way, you still have that to look forward to. But what I really, really wanna get into is just video making. That's why I started doing all of this. That's really like the bones of why I started doing all this. I like making videos. 
Let me just say now that I'm sorry if this is coming across a little bit ranty. I just really want to drive this point home and maybe I just did need to rant about this topic a little bit. But yes, I want to make videos, guys, and I've been doing it. I've been posting five to six videos a week, basically every day. I think they've been turning out really, really well, better than ever. My editing skills are like well into the advanced, way past the basic. And you know, I just, I wanna have fun editing and uploading videos. I wanna be a YouTuber, not a streamer. And I hope you can understand that. Well, fam, that's where I'm at. That's what the future of the channel is looking like. I am genuinely, genuinely sorry if that's not what you're wanting to hear right now. But that's, you know, that's what the future is. And it's exciting. And I hope that you will be okay with that and continue to support the channel and help us grow as a community and check out the new content that I have to post because I honestly think it's gonna be better than playing the same tired game over and over and over again, guys. So please, please be open-minded. I love your faces and I don't wanna lose any one of you. So check out the new content when it posts. I'm gonna be trying to post videos like Monday through Friday. Uh, that's tentative right now. I don't wanna fully hard commit to that and burn myself out, so but I've been doing it like two or three weeks now and it's been going really well. And if it continues to go well, then I may make that official, like put it in the channel banner, like Monday through Friday videos, that type of thing. And uh, yeah, so wish me luck with that and please support the content as it is and support me. I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to though, you don't have to. And uh, you know, please let me know your thoughts about what I've had to say down in those comments below. Hey, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate you, boo. Beardheart, I love your faces. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here, and make sure to share on social media. Bye-bye.